Okay, you guys, I'm jumping right into this video. I'm using a rubber band, and I'm just going to put my hair in a loose bun. This is a very lazy day look when you don't feel like doing your hair. You can just slap the bandana on, and I'm going to be using a blue bandana. Okay, I'm placing the bandana on my head the diamond-shaped way, and then I'm going to take the two sides and tie them. And then once I tie it one time, I'm going to tuck that part that's left over. I'm going to tuck it back in there. And then I'm going to tie the strings again across. And once the knot is secure, you can just take the back part and just fold it under and tuck it. And then fix any imperfections by tucking and folding. And there you have a very cute look. And don't forget to do your edges and the next look, it's the same, but it's just putting a bang in front or some kind of hair in the front. Um, I'm taking my hair and I'm just going to part the section that I want to be a bang. And if your hair is longer in the front, I'm just going to show you guys how I make a bang look without cutting my hair. And in the back, I'm just placing that into a low bun just like the first time. And then I'm taking my hair pins and then I'm just going to pin this hair in the front. But I'm going to prop it up to make it look like a bang or the length of the bang that I want. And I'm just going to pin everything down so it can be flat on my head. Once I have everything pinned down as flat as possible, I'm going to take my scarf and lay it back on my head the diamond shaped way again. But I'm not going to cover the bang. I'm just going to tie it up the same way we did the first time. And once you have it tied up, you can pull your bang down or tease it out however you want to do it. And me personally, I don't like the bang on my face shape. So I would probably just do without the bang, but it's still a cute look. Okay, this next look, it will require a brush and some edge control or whatever you like to put on your hair. But right here, I'm just getting my hair and I'm putting it in a ponytail and eventually it will end up into a ball. I will plait my ponytail for my ball to give it a um, plaited look. get your ball in place it's time to take your bandana and then you're going to fold it down in triangle shape and then you're just going to keep on folding it until you get it thin like that then tie it around your bun and you don't have to tie it super tight because you don't want to mess up your bun um, and then you tie it into a bow and once you get it into that bow you tease it out or pull it out so that it can look like a bow you guys will see what I'm talking about And once you finish, you have just a cute little bow. Just give it a really, really cute touch. This next look, you're going to keep your hair in a bun. And then you're going to keep your scarf rolled up the same way, like a thin strip. But this time, you're using the bandana as a headband. And you're just going to tie it. And you can just leave it just tied with the like the little tassel thing is just loose, the ends loose. And it's cute that way to me. I love that way, but I think I left a little too much out. And um, I decided to tuck it. And either way you want to wear it, you can tuck it or leave them out. And both ways are very cute. And then this way, it's the same way again. You're using the triangle shape and you're just rolling it up to a thin rope. And I'm just going to tie it around my hair like a headband again and put it to the side, which is very cute on a lazy day when your wash and go is gone and you just want to hurry up and do something cute.
Okay, this next look is for when your wash and go is like really, really gone. You don't want to do your edges. You don't want to do nothing. So you just leave your scarf a little bit wider than the first time you did the headband. And you're just going to cover up those edges and gonna go on about your business and look good. And that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. See you in the next one.